<laughs> Welcome to Drake's Made Easy. Today, Mike's pretty excited about what we're gonna, we're gonna make a giant gummy bear. We're gonna make a giant gummy bear. We're gonna make a homemade. We're gonna make alcoholic. a giant gummy bear. Gummy bear. Gummy bear. You start by adding one and two thirds cups of strawberry puree. Now, if you wanted to use a different fruit. Uh, you can do that and really it's just simple as putting it into the food processor or a blender, fruit of your choice. Generally recommend a sweet fruit. Next you're gonna add two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. And the thing that's kind of funny with uh, a sour citrus is it's actually gonna help make the sugar come out more. And next we have six and a half ounces of sugar. And then we're going to go with one and two thirds cups of rum. The next step is gonna to be to add gelatin, but you don't wanna be adding heat yet because that is going to add to the clumping. Now, adding the gelatin slowly is one of the longest parts of this process, but if you speed it up, you're gonna end up with a mess where you're gonna have a bunch of large clumps in your gummy bear. So if you're using powdered gelatin, there really isn't any way around just doing this slowly. All right, so now we have everything mixed in and the gelatin is not clumped. We're gonna start to add medium low heat and we're gonna stir it occasionally. Now when you're using a natural fruit solid, it's going to look a little bit different than it would if you were using a juice uh, in that there is a, a little bit of a jelly texture to it right now because the next thing that you're going to be looking at of knowing when the gelatin is heated up to the degree it needs to to be fully integrated is that the substance is going to start to get kind of a glassy sheen to it and once you reach that you're good to take it off the heat while you're allowing your mixture to cool to about room temperature, you're gonna to wanna to prepare your mold. Now there's all sorts of different molds, but you can get a, a large gummy bear mold like this on Amazon. Now one of the main things you're gonna to wanna to do in prepping your mold is spray with some sort of vegetable spray, or uh, if you're feeling like you wanna spend a couple extra bucks, grab a bottle of Vegeline. But today we're just gonna use a little bit of regular canola spray. So after giving it a good spray, just use a paper towel to get a little bit of coverage over the entire mold without wiping it all out. And once you've allowed it to cool down, you've prepared your mold, go ahead and pour in your mixture. After refrigerating it overnight, you're just gonna pop it out of its mold. And this is the main reason why we're using a little bit of Vegeline or a little bit of uh, vegetable spray because it will pop right out if you do. And that's how you make a homemade alcoholic gummy bear that tastes way better than the commercial store-bought version of just dumping it in alcohol. It's so good. It's so pretty, I love it, and keep it, and take care of it, and name him Greg. You know we're gonna eat that, right? No.